Let's play first. Yeah. Let's mulligan this hand. Uh, well... Yeah... Don't I... be silly. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> this is okay. better. Yeah. Look, he mulliganed too, <clears throat> so now we don't have to feel so alone. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, we mulliganed the five. Ooh. Ooh. How many, of, how many of those guys Shauncey can Mulligan's die to dice four. for him? Oh, Jesus. Shauncey. I mean, like, it's not like this is a lovely hand or anything. It's a fine hand. Don't you talk bad about this hand. This hand was there for us when we needed it, and look what it turned into. A burning vengeance. So, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Correct. It is great. <clears throat> do you play Armor Scab? Yeah. Or do you play Burning Vengeance first? Oh. I think you play Burning Vengeance first. I play Armored Scout. It can at least attack, too. Okay. <clears throat> it's like if you play Burning Vengeance, then you can... Well, no, you can't even flashback yeah. something. <clears throat> so, yeah, Armored Scab is better. Ah, oh, your Rune Chanter's Pike. Nothing I care about went into the graveyard. Just a couple creatures. Well, you can attack into it with your armored scab and hope he blocks. He didn't block. That's okay. Yep. Yeah, burning Because he can't transform it this turn, so it doesn't matter. Yep. You can have six, like, as soon as you cast the Burning Vengeance. I did. Well, like, it still, like, gave you the prompt to hit okay. I don't know. What are you talking about? Never mind. Oh, okay. Like, you can preemptively hit F6. Like, before it gives you a chance to input anything. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. That sucks. That's fine. You just, like, leave your guy back, you take two damage, you Geist Flame one of his guys, you flash it back to kill the other one, like, you're in fine shape. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Well, you can't do all of that, but... No, I can. I can kill two of his guys. Yeah, but you... No, because you want to you wanna kill his bloodline. The Screeching Bat. The Screeching Bat. No. Yeah, which I can do with the Burning Vengeance. I'm just saying, like, I Geist Flame, I flash back <laughs> to kill it, and I... Screeching Bat with the Burning Vengeance. Uh, okay. What about this <clears throat> is strange to you? Like, I was thinking, like, you could save the Geist Flame so that you could deal one damage to one with the Armored Scab, and then... But, like, this works fine, so don't worry about it. You shouldn't auto-yield to that. Yeah. It's too late now. Yeah. It's too late. <clears throat> And I just don't attack him, because why should I? Yeah. So he has two cards in hand. You have a Burning Vengeance and a Think Twice. Seems good. Seems good. <clears throat> and you have enough lands to have a nice pipeline. All it took was him mulling to four. Yep. All it took. Oh, no. Guy's kind of big. Yeah. If you can bounce him, that would be great. Oh, you have a nice little moon heron. Can you just play this. <laughs> sure. And if you really wanted to, you could treat your moon heron for that makeshift mauler. Not at... Oh, yeah. But you no, don't not want at this to. point. I can't anymore. Yeah. Huh. I could trade it for his zombie, which I really don't want to. No. Just block his zombie. What? Like, maybe, maybe he has a dead weight, but, like, who even cares? No, I think he just wanted to see if I'd trade... I don't know. I don't know either.
Hmm. Well, you can play a mountain and attack for three. Do I want to trade these? No. I don't think you do. Like, you have ways to get rid of that mauler or block it or whatever. Uh, you should think twice. Wait, did you sideboard in? Dissipate. No, no. I did not. Then fine, whatever, he just dies. Well, that sucks. Yeah, <laughs> it's something to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. Should I think twice? <laughs> to what, kill a zombie? Yeah, that doesn't seem worth it. No, I don't think you should. Okay. Like, you're at 14, it's not, like, awful, you know? Yeah, it's just not good. <clears throat> well, he attacks you for four. You go to ten. You have a bunch of turns. Like, you have the Burning Vengeance on board. Why does he keep attacking with that stupid zombie? Like, after he tested the waters. Like, you're in red. You could play, like, a haste guy. I don't know. What haste guys even are there? Um, Falcon Wrath Marauders? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yeah, the guy with humans. Yeah, but, like, it's not like he has that. And look, now, because you kept the thing twice, you are rewarded with a screeching bat. Thanks. <clears throat> you should definitely yield to that. I got it now. Yeah. Brimstone Volley, his oh. guy. Look what happened. What a gift. What a what great a gift. What a gift. <laughs> what a wonderful gift. And look, now you got like a, another wall that can become a, a big dude. You're in, you're in fine shape. Hitting him for one because I don't care. You just straight up don't care. Look at you. You're a wild child. You're rough around the edges. Yeah, I don't understand what the point of the end combat stuff is now. Hmm. Man, he just keeps running two twos into your burning vengeance. Because that's all he can do. Well, I'm about to run my guy into his guy. <laughs> well, hopefully you will... If you draw, like, a spell that you can flash back, then it's great. Because he has to decide whether or not you have one in your hand. And, like, he might just be like, oh, okay, I'll block with my zombie. And then my Throbin Sentry will flip. But. He's one. Oh, that's a cool guy. I can't believe this guy mulled the floor. <laughs> there you go. That's a good card. Yeah. I say you just attack for now. Oh, and then play <laughs> this and then flash it back when he tries to block to yeah. be tricky. Mm hmm. Oh. I almost picked illegal attackers. Whoops a daisy. Yeah. Now you just do it to so kill So I wait for the trigger, right? No, you just do it now. Well, he could have a <clears throat> thing. He has no cards in hand. Oh, okay. You just do it now. Then your guy's gonna flip, but like, whatever. That's fine. Yeah. And you got a forbidden alchemy. So, look, things are looking up. Yeah. <clears throat> You should play a cultist, I guess? Or... Yeah. <clears throat> play the island, though. You play so many spells. Yeah. <clears throat> you should probably just have six through his turn. For optimal. Thanks. No problem. Oh, and look, he can't even play something! Oh, yeah, he can. He can flashback his stupid spell. Yeah. <clears throat> That's too bad. You got a makeshift mauler of your very own. Good. Should you just forbid now? Give me first. Let's see what you got. Rune pike. You got a pike, and that's pretty much just what you want, I think. Yep. And do I equip up my guy in attack? Um. Yeah, I guess. 
Or do I just play the Mauler? Um, I think you just equip up your guy and attack. Wait, right, hold on, because, like, how many... You only have the one thing twice, oh, okay. so you can't kill this thing. He's going to hit you down to four, which sucks. Wait, you really think that I should do this instead of playing the Mauler? Because, like, this won't leave my guys back to block? Oh, they will be back to block. Yeah. You still have the two blockers. To my <laughs> occultist? Yeah. It's more damage. Yeah. Interesting. Should I equip to my scab? Um, sure, I guess. Then just F6 through his turn. It will stop when I go to blockers, right? Yeah. Oh, cloistered youth. You could use a geist flame. Mm hmm. You could really use a geist flame. Pitchburn Devils. <clears throat> I would just attack with your armored scab, see what happens. Right? Yeah, why not? And then I think you gotta flash back your thing twice to kill the cloister youth. And then hope you get a, uh... Guy slam or something? Me? Yeah. You wanna mill yourself, definitely. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm still in that mode from the previous game. Yeah. Yeah, like, I think you just flash back the- oh. Fuck. Uh, do it in response. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I guess that flipped your guy, so that's fine. Oh, uh, that's true. Sound of departure is not awful. It's good. Well, yeah, assuming that you should hit okay. Like, he can get you down to one, which kind of sucks. Man, see to your pants today. Yeah. Moon Heron. Boy, does that not matter. At all. So I guess you just flash back your yeah. uh, silent departure. Oh, good. Yep. <laughs> Seems good. Oh, and then you can flash back your... And then oh, probably just kill um, him. So, one thing to keep in mind is, is that, that... I have four cards in my library? Yep. Yeah. So, I'll dream twist him. And then... Like, he's down on board, right? Or not? Four, five, six... <clears throat> five, nine, ten, eleven. No, he's not. You know well, what? Just you know dream what? twist yourself. Oh, wait, what's your exile card? Also, what did I just do? Oh, I flashed this back, so my guy's gonna flip back. Yeah, you can win this turn, but what's your exiled card? It's, uh... A Silent lot of departure. things. Departure. <clears throat> so, so, I, I can think... get back my Silent Departure and depart this. And he has one card in hand, like, that will kill him. Yes. And it's that stupid zombie, so... Yeah, you win. He's gonna be... Oh yeah, just dead. Yeah. Good. It was just perfect. Yep. 